Hello guys. Okay, so I guess I'm back. Um, earlier I made a video that has all the candy that I've made recently that I have on hand. And I completely, totally forgot like some really cool pieces that I made. And a couple backpacks and just some other stuff. And I've made a few like the past couple days. So that's what I'll be showing you right now. So here we go again. Okay, so the first thing... I'll be showing you is this backpack right here. Now, I didn't make this. I actually got it on a trade from Candy Trade. Someone traded me for a belt, but it's really cool. I like the pattern of it, so I was going to try to duplicate it. I just haven't yet. This is the first backpack that I ever made right here, and you can see the little star song. That's the name of her, and then this is some of the candy that she's wearing. My little ninja. I love that one. This other side candy. Some of the candy on her I made and some I got traded like this bell right here. That got traded to me. Same with that whistle right there. Okay, and then I made this little strap around that's kind of like the little things that horses have around them. And it like comes back around here, around her head, through by her horn, and around the other side. And then on both sides I have these little hanging charms. That one has dice and some lock keys, a card. Oh, the card's on this side. I just thought they were cute. And the straps. I just made these uh, peyote stitch. I find that it's a lot thicker. Uh, maybe not thicker. What's the word? More sturdy? More sturdy, I guess. Yeah. That's what I'd say. Alright, so that was the first one I ever made. It actually took a really long time, too. I got the bear's well, the unicorn, the bears, whatever, from Build-A-Bear. I just have them stuff the head and legs and not sew them so that I can do it when I get home. Okay, and then this is the next one that I made. This one's name is Shamrock. It's got some different candy, some traded, some made. Like the power one was traded to me. This says Shamrock right here. I don't know if you can see it. The little turtles are so cute too. And then this, is, she's wearing a starburst right here. And then some other candy. These little daisies that I thought were cute. And my friend Sarah gave me this little thing for St. Patrick's Day. But that's what I made this bear for. So, And then this one, actually, she has buttons on the back that snap her up. The other ones don't yet because my buttons were packed away. So, And I just got done making this one. This one's Samhain. I made this one for, well, I was supposed to be making it for Halloween, but then I didn't. I got distracted and didn't finish it, but I made this rainbow leopard cuff for his one leg. Just a bunch of other candy here. And these pop tab bracelet. That one says down the rabbit hole. So that's kind of cool. And that one, that one says his name. And like a little giraffe and the dice. And he has a necklace actually. No buttons though either, just like the same style of straps. And then I'm actually working on this one. This one's name is Karma. She doesn't have any candy. She's not a unicorn or anything, just a horse. But uh, I got the straps done. I just need to sew them on their pain, so I never want to. And then this I made. It's Zelda style. It's just a necklace. It has some Zelda melty beads or whatever they are called. Fuse beads or perler beads. This is like the boss key. And that's just a regular dungeon room key. And then this is a Triforce. And I also made, on this necklace, I put a binky. Those are the kind you really can't chew through. I mean, you could if you tried, but they're pretty cool. You can't really chew through them that much. And this one, made out of the perler beads, just a rainbow. And then this kaleidoscope, which I got the kaleidoscopes at Walmart for $2. There was like nine of them or eight of them in there. It was super cool. So that's where I got those. And then I made these also just bracelets with the perler bead little hearts. They're pretty cool. And then I made a necklace with a little cursor on it. Um, I had a friend who was online who seen another girl wearing it in a tutorial and couldn't figure out how to make it and asked me if I could because they thought it was really cool. And so I did. I have a rainbow one upstairs too, but um, she just wanted that. So I got it made for her. Oh, and my shoes. Don't mind them. They're super dirty. They're really old. 
but I just have beads on my laces. I actually change them every once in a while. These ones are like overdue for change. They need to be different. Probably putting sparkly ones on, but they just say player. Nothing too cool. Just boring little tennis shoes with beads. Yeah, and that's it. Sorry I forgot all of this stuff. I can't really believe I forgot it because it's like the most important things, but go figure, right? Alright. Well, till next time.